Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Brandy and Bolt. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Bolt's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections, lots of motivation, and sometimes a treat here and there to keep him focused and motivated. And we were going to just started out kind of off the cuff just went right into it but we will be introducing the training equipment that we're using and the positions that we do use so the first thing that we want to take a moment to introduce is the training equipment that we're using brandy's using a regular six foot web training leash she keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Bolt's going to come home with his very own training equipment. And you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now, he is sitting very nicely at Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that they're demonstrating for us is healing. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is bolt heel. At this point, his job is to maintain pace with you, not forging ahead or lagging behind. And each time that you stop your feet, he's been taught to sit automatically without being told. He's young, so every once in a while he needs a little reminder. But I took him to the vet myself and he walked into the vet's office. He walked out of the vet's office like a gentleman. He was a very good boy, very well-mannered. Sometimes every once in a while, he becomes a husky and doesn't want to do it. And you have to give a little correction. This is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. Your long sit stay, your homework when you're practicing at home Lengthen this out from about 30 seconds all the way up to three minutes. When Brandy returns back, if you notice, she walked counterclockwise back to his shoulders and she stopped. And at this point, he expects to get another command. Now, if she just encourages him, taps the side of her leg, gets him going. Nice sit stay. And I, because he's growing so fast, I forget how young he still actually is. And this time Brandy's going to demonstrate the come on command. It's bolt come and he comes and sits. And this eliminates you having this big hairy dog that's jumping all over you when you're trying to get ready to go to work. When you call him, he should come and sit. So she leaves him again in a sit stay. She backs away. She turns to face him, even though he's looking at me. <laughs> she uses his name and she calls him right in and has him sit. <laughs> he has to complete the exercise the way it was taught. And now we're going to demonstrate the down commands, which are just a little bit harder. The first one is the down from a heel position. Always have him seated first, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. And all of these commands work together in maturing the puppy and giving him a sense of self. He's not that infant that couldn't be left, you know, three feet away in a crate now. He's, he's turning into a boy. And he does most definitely have a mind of his own. And we will go over all of that with you tomorrow as far as his signals for when he has to go potty. All of those things Brandy will be talking to you about tomorrow. Stay. And you can call him out of this down just like you did out of the sit. Very nice. And the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is your down from a distance. 
So Brandy leaves him in a sit stay. She turns to face him. And again, you're going to lengthen out your distance and your time. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. And you can always tell when he's going to hold it because he stretches out and gets comfortable and you pretty much know that he's in it for the long haul. So Bolt has come a very long way. I know it feels like a long time to you, but he has accomplished a lot in the time that he has been with us. We have enjoyed having him. He's been a challenge at times, but he's a sweet, sweet boy and was absolutely excellent when we went to the vet's office. <laughs> we love him and we will see you soon.